Chopped over to Alyssa Washington and on to Katie Simmons, who's getting the start at first base today. So Washington busy over there at second, two away. Dayton backed up and has to hurry and unable to make the grab. Gavan hustling over to second, safe. Knee surgery is still trying to get going in the batter's box. Had a couple of hits last night. Yesterday in that game two matchup. Chops one over to Martinez, handles that one with ease. So what when you talk to Coach Glenn Moore and he talks about his staff and just specifically Riley Crandall wanting to see consistency. He said there are games where she is absolutely dominant. What a play by Presley Pylon over at short. Schools were trying to use the extra base, the orange base, on the foul side of first base, but it kind of has gone by the wayside. Yeah, they used the safety bag last year. I don't know if that would eliminate as many reviews. The challenge successful, Ashton Malone. With leadoffs today, one for one already with Maloney on base. Ooh, and that one plunked Scott, it looked like in the thigh. Obviously a bit frustrated as she heads over to first. Get out of the way of those. It's only the second time all year she's been hit. Here's Vivi Martinez, drops down the bunt. Crandall on to first. Two in scoring position. What was that average over the last five games for Martinez? Launches one to deep left center. That one off the wall. Reese Atwood starts things off with a two-run double. Texas is on the board. Well, I said she was working quietly, and this is a loud hit for her 100th hit of her career. Reese Atwood, a double off the left center wall. Two RBIs, Texas up 2-0 early. But Alex, you said it, she's been steady in this series. Now starting to flex a little bit of the power with it. Washington down the line into fail, fair foul territory, excuse me, is that one hauled in, and Atwood will advance to third, two away. Called strike three, but Texas strikes first. Reese Atwood with a two-run double, two-nothing Texas after one. Kind of mood, and you get that obnoxious person who changes the tone a little bit. Feisty catchers, it's part of the deal. Yeah. She comes up with a base knock. It might be a catcher thing. <laughs> Lead-off single here in the Lindsey Stevens Barrera, to name a few. Yeah, and uh, career home run leader, Taylor Hoagland. Charging at Mia Scott, great hustle by Scott. She's played such good defense over at third this year. All the way to the first baseline to make a play this year. Tremendous by the junior. Oh my, what a slide and snag by Alyssa Washington. Two. Takes one to right field, and Baylor is on the board. Their third hit of Gutierrez. Well, Gutierrez went inside to get the swinging strike, and Lavalle adjusting, knowing that that pitch was probably coming again. This time it's elevated. She's able to drive that in the 3 4 hole. Pokes one off of Mia Scott. Both runners are safe. It's a hard hit ball from Watson. Neville off the plate to where Hawk can't get all of it. Takes one to right field. Rounding third base is Rowett, and we are tied at two. Emily Hot does it again. That's now five hits off Gutierrez in an inning and two thirds. Well, this is an off speed pitch, and it's off the plate, but Hot's still able to go out and get around it. 
Gutierrez is going to have to work lower in the zone when she's heading ahead in the count, but good hitting right there. Pylon takes one to right field. That's a fair ball, and Baylor has grabbed the lead. Presley Pylon with a two-out RBI single. We said she needed to go inside. She goes inside, but Presley Pylon able to drive this right down the line. Just keeps it fair by three or four feet. Great relay by Texas to only allow one run, but Pylon has been seeing Texas pitching well. Force Baylor to leave the bases loaded. And they do just that. Called strike three looking. Three left on. Count. Consecutive full count by Riley Crandall against this Texas lineup. And ends up striking out Stort. It's not back-to-back -back strikeouts. Within the zone, and as a hitter, you're ready to hit. A lot of times, that's the pitch that gets hit hard. And a one-out walk to Simmons. First walk in the game for Crandall. Chopped to right field. Bella Dayton reaches. Two on, one away. One run deficit is nothing. Bat that moves the runners into scoring position to set the table for Mia Scott and Vivi Martinez. Back up the middle, base knock for Ashton Maloney. Rounding the bases is the pinch runner, Adea Wallace. And we are tied at three. Well, I said it didn't have to be a base hit, and Ashton Maloney said, oh, yeah, here we go. 0-2, base hit up the middle. Adea Wallace inserted for Katie Simmons. She is fast, and she easily scores on this. Walkendorf doesn't even throw home Texas. We'll see how Scott follows up after she was hit by a pitch in the first. That's a base knock into the gap. It will roll all the way back to the wall, and Mia Scott ends up on second with a two-run double. Texas has retaken the lead. Well, Mia Scott doesn't waste any time. This pitch low in the zone, but over the plate. She drives that just out of the reach of Casey West. As soon as Ashton Maloney sees that in the gap, she knew she was off to the races to score. I actually thought Mia Scott could have possibly gotten a triple there, but Coach White holds her. Bit of LaValle. Scott to center, drifting over his Wachendorf. Towards left field, makes the catch for out number two. Patient to work the count. Atwood, another base knock for the sophomore. Here comes Mia Scott, make it a 6-3 Texas lead. This is an off-speed pitch, knowing how aggressive Texas is being, but it is up in the zone. Reese Atwood drives that right past Collazos at third base. Another RBI for Reese Atwood. Oh, was that a one-night right. game yesterday? Set the all-time record with 66 in a season. This one popped up to left field. Hot is there, and that one-run deficit is ancient history. Texas plates four here in the second. But just so drastically different than the other arms in the Texas bullpen to where she throws upper 60s, heavy drop ball, so it's hard to get it out of the infield. It's going to have to adjust here to the zone. It's to Casey West, almost got a swing there out of her by going lower in the zone on the outside corner. There's a strikeout from Morgan. Scott on to second for one, two away. It'll be interesting to see what all the top 25 polls look like after the weekend's over. Two out walk issued. 
Got her, Mac Morgan. Second strikeout coming out of the bullpen as Baylor strands two. To the job he's done, you lose your ace, you lose two top hitters, you lose one of your top prospects, and you're still ranked. And in the top 20 in RPI, that's some serious coaching going on up at Waco. Ended up striking out. Here's the payoff pitch. And at bat number two. And earns a walk, the team leader in that category. This one lifted to left center field, hauled in on the track by Walkendorf. Wind blowing exactly in that direction. Zos has to call her off as she's coming in for that, but that spun out of LaValle's glove and Bella Dayton has new life. And that is not their usual starting catcher, LaValle, as that one gets away from her. And Skies one to center, Wackendorf is there. And the inning comes to an end. A walk to Katie Stewart, and that is all. You have to be able to have a routine that zones you into, as a pitcher, just you and your catcher. And Morgan ends that lengthy battle with a strikeout. Right to Martinez. And two away. Lifted to shallow right field. Maloney on the run and makes the grab, sliding in for the final out of the inning. Madison Skinner and Molly McCage, and I can name them all and all and all. Ashton Maloney, she's digging for two and a leadoff double for Ashton Maloney. Charge of that unreal program. 2-1 to be a Scott, skied into foul territory. Pylon has to turn around. It's another foul ball that drops in there. Well, I'm not a little bit, so that could definitely play a factor. Shallow left center. Pylon is there. Windows you break. Back up the middle from Vivi Martinez. The throw home, not in time. Texas goes up 7-3, but Martinez out at second. Well, this pitch up and out. Vivi Martinez, just simple, short swing, drives it up the middle, the speed of Mia, or excuse me, Ashton Maloney scores easily. I mean, Martinez trying to advance on the throw, but Lavalle quick and saw early in season. Oh, absolutely crushes this one. A towering blast to left field. Home run number 13 for Reese Atwood. Grab that souvenir. Well, our catcher just unbelievable in how she's able to handle the up pitch, but the ups and downs of the season. Such an incredible drive. Riley Crandall trying to get a rise ball past Reese Atwood there. She is now just a triple shy of the cycle today. And a two out walk. I think Benford is actually trying to throw that far in. Looks like they're getting away from her a little bit, but Henry being aggressive on that one to even the count. Swing and a miss, strikeout number 101. Off. Texas has held her in check today with a ground ball out and a strikeout from Gutierrez. And now, quick work off the back Morgan as well. For Texas, this is their second to last regular season home series. Not a high, not postseason, trying to, to ramp up. Poke to shallow right. Maloney tracks that one. Figure out their postseason positioning. Came into this series 19th in the RPI, 24th in the polls. 
Morgan handles that one. And a one, two, three inning. Alex and her determination to continue her career while she was battling ovarian cancer. I cannot imagine trying to be a student athlete and fitting your treatment for ovarian cancer into your schedule. Pitching side. Which has led to so much Texas success so far this year. Long run for Wachendorf. Hauled it in for out number two. They're going to do any damage against Benford. Chopped over to West. On to inning number six we go. It remains an 8-3 Texas lead. Lead in the fourth, but it's that ability to respond and just go back to work, not trying to do too much. Watson retired. Moments, then really how much it plays a part uh, mentally with a pitcher who's in there in a situation like that. And we'll see how it is in the postseason as well in those situations. Not execute your pitch. I think that's the first thing people have to realize. You do get frustrated with yourself and your inability to do what you're trying to do with the ball. Well, so Washington waits for it. And the quick toss over to first. But to Post game yesterday, that it is interesting for the number one team in the nation who's been so good. Not to have a definite ace. We'll continue that conversation. We started 15 games. Gutierrez has started 13. Mac Morgan nine as that one scooped up by Pylon. Not in time. Before we continue that, how about Ashton Maloney now four for four? I think they'll use that unless one proves otherwise that they shouldn't be. I do think freshman Kavan is best as a starter. But you have Mac Morgan as an option who has Top 10 teams losing, five of the top six. And number six, LSU is trailing three to one to unranked Auburn in the bottom of the seventh inning. LSU. Trying to give Reese Atwood anything that she can get the barrel to. Base is loaded for Texas. Atwood reaches for the fourth time in the fourth different way. Washington over to left field. That will drive in one, make it 9-3 Longhorns. Go ahead and account, Melissa Washington, ready to hit this pitch over the plate. Pulls an outside pitch, a little bit middle out, but just enough to get through a pulled in infield. RBI single for the captain. Bases loaded again, this time for Caden Henry. The one behind home plate has been fair both ways. Chopped over to West. She goes home and they get the force two away. Loaded two away. Hunter over to short. Pylon handles that nicely. And we move on to the seventh yeah, inning. Baylor seven. down to their last three outs of the weekend. I will say my my Big 12 purest heart is a little sad, but understand change is always happening. You can never let go. Shailen Govan, right center, one away. A great response by Mac Morgan right there after giving up the leadoff single to Presley Pylon. That ball. Okay, two on. Collazos, look at this. Baylor with the bases loaded in the seventh inning. Mack being right up to that number one ranking. Over to short, Martinez. That one gets past her. She felt like the runner got in her way. Glanced over at the umpire. Two run score, 9-5. Well, Casey West hits a hopper to Vivi Martinez, and you see Vivi Martinez kind of almost stumble there, and you have to imagine she'd keep playing the play if she didn't feel contact, but. Ran a little bit, it was interesting, towards the runner who's moving to the right, the ball went to her left. Maybe. The
coaching staff. Well, they don't look. Play stands. Two runs score. Runners on second and third. Wide of the plate or down in the zone. Watson to center. Will it be deep enough? Collazos tags and then retreats to third. And as a big out here in the seventh, two away. Washington underneath it makes the grab and Texas sweeps Baylor taking the finale 9-5 in Austin. Well, Coach White and his staff had to use three pitchers in both game two and three here at home. But 35 and six on the year, 14 and four in Big 12 play. And how about their record here at McCombs Field? 19 and two on the season. Baylor drops to 22 and 17, 5 and 13.